Let's work through this maximum likelihood practice question. We are having a simple linear regression model with error terms that are normally distributed. And let's note a couple of points here. That error term VI has a fixed variance of 1 and an expected value of 0. Okay, so the expected value is as normal. We assume that about the error term. But I fix the variance to 1. That will make our life easier. So from model 1, we can solve for the error term. That will be useful. Uh, yi minus alpha minus beta times xi. And that is useful because that yi, that is what we have a distribution for. That's our random variable. Okay, It's normally distributed. And what you see there is the density of the normal distribution. And it involves the expected value of vi and the variance of vi. So that means with this information we can actually write down a density for yi because the density for yi is essentially driven by the density for vi. So what we do is we'll just write down our density function just with all the information we know about vi replaced. So for instance, we assume that the variance is 1. So we can have a 1 here. Then we have the exponential of a negative. And now we replace for vi and we replace what we know about vi. So we have yi minus alpha minus beta times xi. Now minus the expected value of vi, but of course we discussed before that that expected value is zero. I'll just write it down for clarity, then the whole thing is squared, and then divided by two times the variance of vi. Of course the variance is just one. And let's close the parenthesis. So this is now our density for yi, which is essentially because vi is the random variable in our equation for yi, the density of yi, vi, I should say. Apologize for my Germanism here. So then we take the log of this density. So we have the log of f of yi, conditional on alpha, beta, and xi. I'll leave that away. So if you take the log from that, of course, you will need to know all the calculation rules for logarithms. You get negative a half times the log of 2 pi minus a half times yi minus alpha minus beta times xi squared. So that was the density for an individual yi or the log density. Now we want the likelihood function. So we know that we can write the likelihood function for both observations yi, y1 and y2 as the product of the individual densities assuming that we have independence and that basically means assuming independence of the vi's because they are the random terms and since we don't like working with products so much we will also write down the log likelihood function of y1 and y2 and that is going to be the sum of the two log densities, the log density for y1 and the log density for y2. So let's continue working on the right hand side here. We'll continue with the log likelihood function and we shall now merely substitute what we know about the log densities, the individual two log densities. So first will have the log density for y1 that's negative a half ln 2 pi minus a half times and now y1 minus alpha minus beta times x1 squared so what we've written down here is basically the first part ln f of y1 
Now we need to add ln f of y2, the density, log density for the second observation. So plus, and then we'll put everything in big parentheses, negative a half log 2 pi minus a half y2 minus alpha minus beta x2 squared. So that was the second term. Because we only have two observations, y1, y2, this is it. We can now collect a few terms, for instance, that ln uh, negative a half ln 2 pi term appears two times, so that turns into a negative 2 over 2 ln 2 pi. And then uh, the second part, we have that twice, so negative a half, but these are not identical. This is basically now the sum of yi minus alpha minus beta times xi squared where the i goes from 1 to 2 in this particular case. So, what we've done, we've basically answered the question. We've written down the log likelihood function uh, for our particular problem. And now the maximum likelihood estimators of alpha and beta will be those values for these parameters that maximize this function. You can see ln L is a function of alpha and beta. It will change values with alpha and beta. I will choose those that maximize that function.